Well, tonight, the feds are investigating a potentially serious safety issue in the Ford Bronco. 48 drivers uh, say the SUV's engine has failed while they were driving, and now thousands of other vehicles may have the same problem. Business editor Rob Maloney looking into the issue, which is uh, not a good look right now for Ford. Rob? The Bronco was one of the most anticipated vehicles Ford's had in a generation. They sold them out. But now in the early stages, Bronco drivers, at least some of them, are finding a very troubling problem under the hood. Complete disbelief. Kelly Luther of Rose Township waited a full year to get her first ever brand new vehicle. Last September, just two and a half months after taking delivery of her Badlands Edition Bronco, she went grocery shopping. I made a turn and it just died without warning, no lights, no indicators or anything. NHTSA is calling it catastrophic engine failure related to a faulty valve within 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines. Kelly's dealer agreed. The phone call said I needed a, a completely new engine. I was just blown away. She'd not even driven 2,500 miles. It was just kind of like, hey, here's a $50,000 vehicle. You still have to pay for it's in service for 50 days and I, I didn't have anything to drive. Ford did replace the engine under warranty. She'd just returned from the UP and though she'd like to go again this summer, she won't. Every time that the auto start stop features on, I can, my, my heart skips a beat. Um, thinking like it's died again, but yeah, it's a concern. For its part, Ford is saying in a statement, quote, we're aware of a select number of engines with this concern and we are investigating. If any customers are experiencing issues, they will be covered under the vehicle's five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. We will cooperate with the NHTSA, as we always do, end quote. Now, here is what they call the ODI, the Office of Defects Investigation Resume. And this lays out a lot of the issues here and gives uh, the number of complaints and so forth. And uh, what they're saying is it's early on. They're going to be looking at this going forward. This is usually the beginning. If, in fact, there might be a recall, this is where it all begins. Back to you. So what are uh, Bronco drivers telling NHTSA about their concerns now? I mean, obviously, we just heard her. Well, she doesn't even want to drive it, <laughs> even though she's got a new engine. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, Devin. She was fortunate. She was a couple of miles from home and a couple of miles from her dealership, so that was the easy part. Most of the people who are having this problem are reporting that their vehicles are quite literally exploding uh, inside the engine in the middle of traffic on a highway and having to coast off to the side of the road. Yeah. That, for them, is the major concern. That's awfully dangerous. All right.